I'm gonna give a shout out. My favorite, um, my favorite on it is probably Sia. When I saw that name on it, I was so excited because uh, it was the first she was on our soundtrack, right? Yeah, but um, always excited about Muse coming back. Right. Um, now that this sort of fame thing has gone to just a sort of crazy level, you know, are there any stories of sort of like having to like run underneath the ground and pop up, you know, and do these all escape, you know, Houdini kind of escapes and stuff. Is that real? Is that... Yeah, I mean, you definitely use a lot of back entrances and exits, uh, but I, I think for the most part, we just, we go along for the ride. We're the same people, We and we have people behind us that kind of help us and think ahead, and we're just thankful to have that help. <laughs> Well, it's funny because I think everyone thinks it's really glamorous. In reality, you're like in a stinky service right. elevator that like stinks right. of stale beer right. and whatever, and that's your back way in. Right. And when we of... walk through <laughs> hotels, we always walk through the kitchen or through the garbage or the laundry room. It's it's not glamorous, trust me. <laughs> um, how um, how uh, do you think you know the other thing that's really interesting about these, and I think you know they do it in some series, other series too, the changing of a director and and with that. Do you feel, I guess, that you get, you know, a chance to say, God, you know, a new moon, I really wish I would have made these three choices. Well, now I can make them because I have another right. chance to further right. this character. Yeah, no, the opportunity to work with a character for years is phenomenal. Because um, usually, you know, you work with it for two or three months and you're done. You say goodbye and then you're right. You look back on it and you're like, oh, I wish I would have done this. And uh, with this franchise, we're able to uh, change things up and work with the character more and the opportunity with new directors for each one gives us a, a different perspective on the character. Even though we've been playing them for a while, they bring something new every single time. So I love the opportunity to work with a different director for each film. And tell me a little bit about the wolf pack, because it seems some ways for you, you're, you have two movies you make. You sort of make this love triangle movie and then there's this other you know, life that you have with this group, and you know, they have their own little love triangle issues with, you know, yeah. Leah and, and Sam and... Yeah. Jacob does live uh, two lives, because most of the wolf pack, they, they stick together 100% of the time. And uh, Jacob likes to veer off, because he's got another special person uh, in his life. So yeah, I mean, he's, he's very tight with the wolf pack, but a lot of the times he's, he's got to do his business with Bella. And... Um, what are you most looking forward to in the next chapter? You know, I know it's so hard, this one's not even out yet, but there's so much buzz on Breaking Dawn. There is, I'm, I'm super excited that it's gonna be two movies. I think that was the only way to do it. There's just, there's so much to cover between the marriage, the baby, splitting of the wolf pack, everything. Um, I, I'm definitely looking forward to doing two movies, having the opportunity to work with uh, Mr. Condon twice will be awesome. So I'm looking forward to all of that. Here we go. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Sweet. Good seeing you. Good seeing you.